What's up guys Shahbaz here so June 6 WWDC will be held where they will show iOS 16 which will appear in the fall along with the new generation of iPhones According to the latest news the new iPhone 14 Pro will finally get the always on display feature other companies have been offering it for over 10 years According to well-known analyst Mark Gurman of Bloomberg News Agency, the new iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max, which are expected to be announced this fall, will receive always-on display function. Time and other useful information will be displayed even in mode blocking. In addition, a couple of older smartphones will be equipped with next-generation displays. The analyst recalled that the debut of the always on display function was originally expected last September along with the release of the iPhone 13 but this did not happen and according to his sources it will appear on the next generation professional series smartphones iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max In addition to software support for this feature in iOS 16, new smartphones from Apple will also receive next generation displays. We are talking about low temperature polycrystalline oxide LTPO display technology, the development of which Samsung reported back in 2020. According to some reports, it was Apple that became the customer of this solution back in 2015. The most important advantage of new technology is the support for a variable screen refresh rate. By reducing this indicator to very low values, you can significantly reduce energy consumption. This is confirmed by the example of a smartwatch Apple Watch Series 5, where the always on display function was implemented. In addition to the updated screen, the iPhone 14 Pro is expected to receive an A16 Bionic chipset. and a 48 megapixel main camera sensor also for the first time for apple they promise the appearance of 8k video recording for several years samsung flagships have been offering such an opportunity and the benefits from it are obvious a freeze frame that can be cut out of the video viewing or large diagonals of samsung tvs and so on there is also a game of catch up i have feeling that it has the photo capabilities that will be praised for the iphone 14 pro since they will really change a lot the iphone will be able to catch up with those who have gone ahead in particular the same samsung galaxy s22 and galaxy s22 plus but samsung doing more harder and upgrading almost all hardware components in their premium flagships For example, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra will receive new massive UFS 4.0 storage that will give next generation Galaxy phones a major performance boost. As well as the device will use the third generation of a 200 megapixel module. But according to the latest news, the new iPhone 14 Pro will receive 48 megapixel main sensor. The new iPhone 14 Pro smartphones will launch in September this year, but the new Galaxy S23 Ultra smartphones will be officially launched in February 2023. Let's wait and we'll see who is the winner of this game. That's it for now. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel Science and Knowledge. Until the next video, take care of yourself. Very well. Peace out.